Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730. If you catch me on 11 meters, PMR 446. It's just a quick one from my phone. Um, so I've just been doing a little bit of experiments with a boomerang antenna. Now, I was bringing the two main elements from that antenna. The antenna's obviously not up because I've got the, the bits for it in here. So, what I did was, was I removed this section, which is the top section of the the boomerang antenna and replaced it with, if I can grab that without causing uh, an avalanche, replaced it with this. So putting that in with the original bottom section, which I shall show you in a moment. So that's the original bottom section. So putting that in had an interesting effect. What that did was obviously completely detuned it on on 11, 11 meters, it was no no good on 11 meters at all, and so I'm guessing insufficient ground plane for that antenna, quite possibly, but it might need some lop, more lopping off it. And I think it was resonant somewhere in the middle of the 10 meter band, because at the top of the 10 meter band, the SWR wasn't that high. That's um, in the although it was tripping out the the SWR protection on the SS9900, so that was a bit of a pain. Uh, tested all the 11 meter side with the President Grant too, because that's pretty much there as well and just wouldn't took long. So what I tried afterwards was I removed this, obviously it doesn't involve me taking the antenna back down, so I removed that, that's no longer part of the equation, and I installed this in the bottom section with the Springer antenna in the top. Now what that did was made the antenna resonant on most of the mid block. I'm not sure where the actual perfect SWR would have been, but it looked like it was below 26965. So, so, so with a bit of tuning, it would probably be all right to do that. But I don't want to do it with any of these because I want to keep these as pretty much close to how they're configured. I don't want to be starting cutting bits off. So. So this so this will be going back up in its original configuration, which works on 2781, which is all I'm interested in as far as the Citizens Band is concerned. When I'm at home, if I want to do anything on on the mid block, I'll do that in a, out portable somewhere. Um, I know there's supposed to be a, uh, an event celebrating however many years it's been now since 2014, so it'll be about six years since uh, AM and SSB were legalised on the mid block, but because I'm working, I won't be able to take part in that. Um, I can monitor from the car. So, yeah, that's just a little experiment I've been doing. Um, came about after I um, uh, repaired um, uh, the mag mount that, that I wanted to use as a spare mag mount. When I say repaired, I, I put the um, uh, rubber boot that I've bought on in a non-standard fashion. And uh, unfortunately, I have a problem with that. It seems to be this common mode currents there, so... I think I'll just have to replace that just to see if that, or just buy another one identical and see if that's a common problem with these mag mounts. Because it could well be, but it might be okay. So, well, whatever it was, it detuned this antenna, which is what I put on it to test it. Well, that's this Springer style antenna. So I'm going to replace that mag mount. Because uh, another upcoming attraction, hopefully, for the channel will be the Thunderpole T800. After. I was told that the R RF gain on current versions of that actually does work on FM. Whereas most of the YouTube videos I've seen on that radio, the RF gain doesn't actually work on FM. So I wonder what they've changed, which makes me think they've changed it to the same board as the PNI Escort HP 8000 series. Hmm. And judging by a picture on Thunderpulse website, I think they have. So. And that's a forthcoming attraction, all being well. And I was hope, hoping to um, have that antenna working, because I'm hoping I might be able to convince some uh, someone that I know to put it in their car and can do a um, uh, car-to-car test with it, because that's not something I've ever done before. Um, so that's uh, another forthcoming attraction. I will publish... In the description below, the full details of my little experiments with the boomerang antenna. And hopefully from there, it might give you an idea of 
how to maybe tweak the performance of the boomerang because at the moment I can only get it to work on one band at a time which it appears to be the case I don't think it's possible to get it to work on both at the same time unless you somehow get the thing to be resonant at 27 treble 5 but even then I don't think it would work and I don't condone using 27 treble 5 so right so it's Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or 26 Charlie Tango 7P0 if you catch me on 11 metres in PMR 446 uh, Sam Breeze, guys, stay safe, enjoy your radio, watch for the virus. Things are starting to get back to normal now, as you know. So I'll catch you in the next one, which hopefully will be a longer one. Sam Breeze for now, guys. <laughs>